you have to realize that you're dealing with a lot of people from seven different regions on solid waste, and it's a very important uh, position to be on, and you really got to work your way up. You don't get to be a chair or on a special committee or the head of a certain committee or the chair itself one year. And you don't get there in two years. You've got to do your duty and everything else and gain the confidence and the respect of the members on that particular board from all over Nova Scotia to work your way up. Um, you know, I have, I have my own concerns in regards to, when, again, Councillor McDougall is a new councillor. Um, I know when I've sat in some of these solid waste committee meetings, um, sometimes they can get pretty heavy. Uh, I haven't had a lot of opportunity to have them here, uh, but I have sat in on them. Um, and I think experience goes a long way. I don't know enough about Amanda's background in regards to ACAP, and I understand ACAP is an environmental uh, friendly uh, type of organization that deals with solid waste, garbage, and stuff of that nature. To what degree, I'm not sure. Um, but it's, it's a committee that's very important, and as Councilor Prince said, with the regional chairs across the whole province, uh, from my perspective, I think we should have some experience. Um, with all due respect to my councillors, my question to all of you is how do we as supposedly new councillors who apparently have no experience whatsoever, uh, don't give, if you don't give us a chance to have these experiences, how are we supposed to gain experience? So I'm sorry, but that question, that, that argument is to me null and void and does not hold water. My other thing, my other th is in defense of Councillor McDougall, ACAP is heavily, heavily involved in solid waste management, and it is my understanding that during Councillor McDougall's time, she was the education man manager, and she can correct me if I'm wrong in this, but it was also dealing heavily in wastewater, man in wastewater management. So I think her experience, and as far as things getting heavy around the table, I think she's had those heavy around the table conversations. And so to my point is, um, Councilor McLeod, as far as I can see from your colleagues, did a wonderful, ha you did a wonderful job. And, but I also think it's time that we allow others to have these experiences so that they can be able, we, we can all have this well-developed um, criteria here. And I think, so to me, the idea that not enough experience precludes you, that means you'll never get the, you'll never get the chance to sit on a, a committee because you'll never have the, uh, the experience to sit on the committee if we go by that. So to me, I, I still hold with Councillor McDougall that uh, right, as of right now, I think she would be a, a wonderful choice to have on this committee and to represent us. And to Jim, I say thank you for all the time you spent in that committee. Thank you very much.